Hi everyone, it's Sabrina and I'm here with my hair questions and answers video. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions about my hair and I started answering them but then I started getting a repeat of questions so I figured I'd just do a video about it. So let's get started. All right. Um, how long have you been on your hair journey? I originally said I wanted to start growing out my hair in 2009, but I didn't actually start it, you know, doing a regimen and sticking to it till 2010. So that's when I really got serious about my hair and really actually started taking the steps that I needed to take to, you know, get my hair to the length I wanted. So since 2010, so two years now. Um, how long is your hair? I just dusted my hair today, but my hair was like on bra strap line before I dusted my hair and then now it's literally right above bra strap line. How long did it take you to grow your hair this long? Um, before I started my hair during my I was shoulder length and you know my first year I was trimming a lot a lot <laughs> so I don't even know I don't I can't remember when I even stopped trimming my hair, but within the two year, within the two years that I've been um, caring for my hair, this is the length that it's gotten with you know trims and everything else. Um, are you natural, relaxed, or text lax? Um, <laughs> it's hard to answer that question because I'm kind of both. The very very ends of my hair are relaxed, bone straight. And then to about from my roots down to probably around here, it's like semi tech slacks. And it wasn't done on purpose, it was a mishap with relaxing, but that's how, like, that's my hair eventually just came out that way. And I tried correcting it and it doesn't work. And I was like, I don't want to keep going over my hair with the relaxer, so eventually I just stopped. But it's more on the straighter side than it is tech slack, it's, it's not extremely tech slacks. So, I probably didn't even answer the question, but it's 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 confusing. <laughs> um, do you take any supplements or growth aids? I take prenatals, not necessarily for my hair to grow. I take it, you know, as a supplement. The type I take, it's called Prena Plus. It is prescription because um, I just had a little one, so I was on prenatals during my pregnancy and now it's after and I'm still taking it um, I use castor oil in my regimen I know that it's used as a growth aid so um, and I do specifically use it to promote growth so that is another growth aid I use in my regimen is castor oil um, I've been inconsistent with it I haven't been using it like on a daily or weekly basis um, but you know that's a whole different story um, what co-wash conditioners do you use? I use any cheap conditioners to co-wash. I use the normal VO5 that everyone talks about, any kind. I don't really um, necessarily go to buy just one kind. I use Tresemme, May, I use Swal. I use just any cheap conditioners, really. It doesn't necessarily, it doesn't matter to me. Um, what's your hair type? I've never been able to type my hair. That is just something I don't know how to do. But, um, you know, just from what I've read and what I've seen, if I was to try to type my hair, I would say I'm a 3C, 4A. Around the edges of my hair, my hair spirals. And as it goes in towards the crown of my hair, it gets looser and then it just waves. So, maybe I'm type if I'm typing it wrong, then you can tell me what kind of hair that is. But that is my hair type. I think and my hair is not I don't have a coarse texture in my natural state I have that spongy soft flyaway hair <laughs> if that even makes any sense but you know you see the little girls and they have like little ponytails and their hair is just really just spongy and just soft and just I don't know how to explain it but that's the type that's how my hair is in its normal state um are you mixed I am of one nationality. <laughs> I am Jamaican. I was born in Jamaica. I was raised in Jamaica. Both my mom and my dad and the whole family line from there are all Jamaicans born and raised. We are Jamaicans. Whether there's different races throughout my family, um, 
On my dad's side, I know there's Cooley mixed in with his people, and Cooley is Indian Jamaicans. It's basically that's what it is. Um, but you know, I always tell people when it comes to Islanders. For the most part, a lot of Islanders are mixed with things. It might not be directly, you know, your mom is this or your dad is this, but down the bloodline, we are mixed with different races. And that's just because, you know, throughout history, Jamaicans have been owned by different countries. You know, we've had the Spaniards, we have the British, and, you know, humans mingle. <laughs> so, um, you know, down every... I think down every island family bloodline there's other things mixed in it's not just purely black or of African descent I don't think so anyways that's just my belief but um directly no I'm not mixed with anything both my parents are black when or how do you straighten your hair when you do it straight um I air dry my hair I try to air dry it like fully 100% air dry but if I have somewhere to go then I'll just take the blow dryer and just like you know blow dry my roots anywhere that's not dry by that time but I air dry and then I flat iron that's it I don't use a blow dryer to straighten it before I flat iron I used to but that's just too much heat for my hair so I've just opted out of using a blow dryer to straighten my hair I just air dry and flat iron that's it and that's what I did now and when you do that I mean you still get movement it, like it's the same nothing's different to me so the fact that I can achieve the same look with less heat that's always beneficial of course how often do you trim your hair I trim as I see fit earlier today I trimmed <laughs> because my ends were just looking really raggedy and I think I still need to trim some more but earlier today I trimmed it um, or I should say dusting. I dust. I dust all the time. Um, but actual trimming where I go in section by section and cut off, you know, hair. Um, I probably have done that twice throughout my whole hair journey. I did it once at a salon and then I did it once by myself. But I don't trim like that anymore. I just dust. When I get relaxers, I dust to even it back up, or if I do see that there's damaged hair, I'll dust that. But I don't necessarily go in my hair like section by section and cut trim. Um, that's that's really all the questions that I've been receiving. Um, you know, if you guys do have any questions that I didn't answer or you would like to know, you can ask it on this video, and then you know, at another time, I'll make another hair questions and answers video but those are the questions you guys have been asking me a lot so I figured I might as well just go ahead and answer it on a video for anyone else who might be wondering the same thing so that's it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I answered all the questions to your liking thank you guys for watching thank you all who subscribed I really appreciate it and I will see you guys and next time bye